This, ladies and gentlemen, is the entree. Jade making movies. Rock, rock money now. <laughs> Jade to go. Oh, oh, oh. Jade to go. Oh, oh. Action. YouTube fam, all. They pushing, they pushing, they pushing them back, man. What's good, JB? What's going on with y'all, man? What's popping? What's good? What's good? All that stuff, man. It's your boy Jay here, here to give y'all an early look at a shoe that a majority of us want, man. Raise your hand, man. Raise your hand if you want them. I, I see you. I see you, man. But if this is your first time pulling up, stopping through and rocking out with the fam and you have not yet joined the fam, man. Look, this is where you need to be. You stumbled across the right channel. We always show them early. We always show the details. We always keep it 100% legit over here, man. So you don't need to go any further, man. Make sure you stick around, hit that subscribe button, and don't stop there. If you do hit the subscribe button, make sure you leave a quick comment down below, y'all. Just a couple words. Let me know that you are new so I can welcome you in with a personalized message, you know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, man, today we do have the upcoming Air Jordan 4 Military Blues, which I mean, we've been waiting years for this shoe, it feels like. We've been asking for the Military Blues, like bring them back, bring them back, bring them back. Cool, y'all decided to bring them back. However, y'all pushing them back, man. But you know it ain't no thing to your boy, Jay, cause I'm gonna get my hands on them. But today, y'all, why I did say it was the appetizer is because I do have a GS pair, man. So. Little Feet GS Gang, y'all need love too. And I do realize that, man. So I do have a GS pair here, man. Shout out to my bro, Bird Kicks, man. He did throw your boy this pair so I can get y'all an early look at this shoe, man. So salute to him. He is still out here in these streets making the moves, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys need any early kicks and such as these, he does have, I think, some more GS on deck. But all that men's pair is loaded, man. I'm, I'm ready to get my hands on a men's pair because that's gonna be the entree, y'all. So for today, we still gonna get our eyes on the Jordan 4 Military Blues. Lil Fee Gang, hey, smile, be happy. This one is for y'all because I always leave y'all out. But um, we got the men's pairs coming soon, man. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it and see what these Military Blues is looking like, man. Let's get to it. Ooh, yes, sir. So taking a look at the box, as you can see, it is a regular Air Jordan 4 style box, y'all. Black lid, red jump man, white flight and cursive. Underneath, cement printing on the bottom. And it does have the hole, y'all. You can see it, it does have the hole on this side where you can, you know, stick your finger in there and hold your box however you want to do it, you know. But there is no hole on the side with the size tag, man. So that's just a quick FYI for y'all. If y'all are getting them early, make sure that it's on the same side. Uh, well, it's flat on the side with your size tag and the hole is on that side, man. We clear? We want to make sure that they're 100% A1 over here. So, size tag on this one does read Air Jordan 4 Retro GS color block and it's off-white military blue. Lear, 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 right, lear. What y'all know about that drama, man? It might be too outdated for some of y'all. Some of y'all might be some youngins, you know, but uh, if you know, you know, but uh, Popping open the box a little, man. It's an Atlanta thing, you know. If y'all, if y'all know, like I said, you know, we 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 were, we were banging it down there in Florida. You know what I'm saying? We was we were rocking with drama in Florida. But anyways, he was a one hit wonder. I want to say I don't think he had too many songs. But yeah, red top of the box lid. I got. You see how easily I get sidetracked? It. Red top of the box lid. Inside of the box, y'all. There is uh no sticker, y'all. No sticker. Well, there is a sticker. There is a. A QC little sticker. There's a QC little sticker right there. You can kind of see it. Yep, right there by my finger. Like right there. If it'll be clear, but man, y'all get the point. It's a little QC little small sticker in there. Outside of that, man, you do got the, the cement paper all throughout it on the inside. And we do have the Jordan 4 Military Blue, which is set to be releasing on May 4th, man. So just give it to us, Jordan, man. Whew, there we have them. This is a GS pair, y'all. This is a 7Y, by the way. And, I mean, bang! There we have them, y'all. You see it, the Jordan 4 Military Blues. Man, I posted this shoe, like, in a video clip on my story. I had somebody comment. If you're watching this video, you're going to be like, that was me. But I had somebody comment 
on that uh it does come with of course gs stuff you will get the jump man with this one nothing different but i had somebody comment on my story and say i thought the shape was supposed to be like the sb4s man and you are absolutely a hundred percent correct y'all but I, I don't know if you thought it was a men's pair or what you thought it was but the gs shape will be slightly different from an adult size pair man so that is why this might not have that that, that good old fashioned slope like the SB4 did is because it's a GSU man. So like I said, man, GS pair in hand, military blues. Bang! There we have them, y'all. The Jordan 4 Military Blues set to officially be releasing on May 4th, man. So one thing I want to go over real quick, y'all, for those of y'all who are new, to the Jordan 4 Military Blues, never owned it, never seen one in person, man. You know, you just, you're just caught up in all of this hype that's going on and circulating around them right now. You don't know anything about the Military Blues because I had a couple people comment and saying, man, I thought they were white. Is that gray on the shoe? Is that gray on the shoe? Yeah, it is white and gray, y'all. So it does have hits of gray, a soft little light gray going all throughout this little new buck area on the front toe cap area. So it's like, yeah, it's, it's a white and gray shoe, man. And you can kind of still look. Take a look at that shape, y'all. I kind of noticed it just now. Take a look at that shape. It does kind of have that SB shape still on the GS pair, man. You can see that nice little slope, the shape of how they did them, man. So it still has that shape. It is not shaped like an original older model of the Jordan 4s that we have gotten in the previous years. But the military blues are... They're happening, man. So definitely a fan of them. And we got them the OG way, man. Um, I don't remember the last time they made them OG. The last time they retro, they hit the, they did have the jump man on the back. So uh we are now officially getting it with the OG Nike Air stamp on the back, man. But uh, it does come with a Nike Air hang tag in orange. As you can see, it is not meant to stay on there this time because it does come with that like shopping tag little hang thing on it you know what i'm saying that you can pop off but hey man some people might rock it with it on there still man or you know you can you can replace that with like a dog tag chain you know however you want to do it but i'm not gonna be rocking it with it on here i'm gonna take it off because it's i think the jordan 3 reimagined cements had the same type of tag on it you know what i'm saying so it's not in my opinion meant to be worn with it on there when it comes like that but um yeah on to the shoes y'all you see what's going on with them real quick overview you do have whew, the military blue hits on the bottom on the outsole you do have the white hits you do got a little bit of gray on there on the back as well man on the heel so you know you stepped in a little bit of cement on the back half right that is gray yeah a little soft gray you got it on the toe cap area as well up there but um moving up to the uppers as you can see you do got your white midsole area moving up you got of course the military blue coloring on it very dope man these are, these are solid bro got the military blue coloring um one thing I might have to say about these that we're going to have to look out for, y'all, is quality control, y'all. I think quality control on these is going to suck. I think it's going to suck. I'm not even going to hold y'all. Just looking at this pair, or maybe sometimes they pr produce the men's pairs different from the GS, but I can already see a couple flaws on this pair, and I'm like, hey, I don't know, man. But uh, back to like the little short review, of course, I told y'all you guys do have gray, a soft gray hit going all throughout this little new buck pattern alongside the toe cap area you know what i'm saying back to the midpoint of the shoe then it goes into the white color on the back half and it is leather y'all leather quality real quick man it has some nice leather man take a look at that leather on the shoe how it just you know it scrunches up nice little leather very soft very plush i ain't mad at it at all so nice little leather on the shoe um blue cajun man nice nice shoe man back when these dropped the last time i don't think anybody was was wanting them they sat around like this shoe to me kind of reminds me of the powder blue jordan nines you know what i'm saying how they kind of sat around nobody was paying them no attention however i i feel like if those powder blue jordan i say nines powder blue ones y'all my bad pardon me if the powder blue ones retro y'all i think they would have a similar demand as i'm mean, not as much but a similar like people will want them you know uh just like the military blues because uh these kind of just came out of left field why do so many people want military blues now it, it might be a jordan 4 thing y'all I, I have no idea but military blues is what they want but you do got the jump man the flight on the front right there 
you got your Air Jordan tagging on the back that you can barely see, but uh, it does have, I wanna say it's the OG style tongue, but I can see a little bit of that blue from the front, y'all. You can kind of see a little bit of that blue from the front, so it's not 100% OG, at least on the GS pairs. But um, yeah, man, um, this, like I said, man, is a, is a nice shoe. And it is not, it is not your ordinary blue. This is more like a marine blue, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a I, I don't want to call it an aqua blue, but it's it's a marine blue if you want to call it any type of blue in my opinion. But um, yeah, man, these is dope, bro. I just, just got to say, just keep your eyes peeled and watch out for the quality control issues on these because it's, it's going to get bad, I feel like. We're going to start seeing them pictures going viral. Um, we seen with the Jordan 4 Reimagined Breads, the upside down, uh, logo on the tongue I, I i expect worse with this shoe man but we got them both right here of course this is my men's double up pair but with with just seeing both shoes right here in frame y'all talk to me in the comment section what is your shoe of choice man jordan four of choice for 2024 man we are getting military blues back we've gotten reimagined breads both leather shoes I mean we can we can really rate them both man let's let's take this tag and throw it out the way so we can really take a look at these shoes man let's let's take a good look at both of them there we have them right there military blues and jordan 4 bread reimagines um another thing too i don't see any widow's piece on this in particular pair we'll see what it look like when it comes to like the adult size pairs but which one we going man Military Blues, Jordan 4 Bread Reimagines. But uh, yes, it is all about these today, man. So y'all comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on the first look of the Jordan 4 Bread. I meant bread. The Jordan 4 Military Blues releasing May 4th. Retail price. GS, what is it going to be like? Maybe 160 it might be like 160 in uh gs i'm i'm not sure i might have to correct myself on the screen but anyhow they're a clean shoe i'm not mad at them y'all let me know y'all thoughts but outside of that i am checking out i will see y'all on the next video y'all stay blessed i'm gone man peace